Okay. So it seems that we might have discovered signs of alien life on another planet 124 light years away. It's not a science fiction, but a real discovery. Let me introduce you to an exoplanet named K218b. Very fancy name, huh? Scientists led by Nikku Madhusudan from University of Cambridge have just found a chemical signature that is supposed to be a reliable signal of life on another planet. So let's talk about it. Using James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers peered into the atmosphere of this another exoplanet called K2A10b and they have detected a mix of gases, methane, carbon dioxide and a very interesting molecule called dimethyl sulfide, DMS. Now here's the kicker. On Earth, DMS is only known to be produced by living organisms, especially ocean-dwelling microbes. So the thought is, a similar type of life form may have produced DMS on this exoplanet as well. But hold your hats. This discovery doesn't necessarily mean that aliens are waving at us from a telescope. But it, essentially, it's the most compelling biosignature we have ever spotted on another planet. So K218b was first discovered in 2015 by a team of scientists led by Benjamin T. Montet using the data from NASA's Kepler Space Telescope in its K2 mission. The planet orbits a cool red dwarf star in the constellation of Leo and sits in the habitable zone, a sweet spot where liquid water could exist. It's about 8.6 massive than Earth and about 2.6 times bigger in radius than Earth, placing it in the category of Hycian planets, a type of planet with hydrogen-rich atmosphere and a potentially vast liquid ocean beneath. So let's talk about why dimethyl sulfide is such a buzzword. On Earth, it comes almost exclusively from phytoplankton, tiny oceanic organisms. It's not something volcanoes or atmospheric chemistry can whip up on their own. DMS is a byproduct of a process where these tiny microbes die, releasing DMSP another chemical compound in their body to be broken down by enzymes, releasing DMS. Now this DMS initially gets mixed with ocean and then eventually is released into the atmosphere. So if it's really there in the atmosphere of K218b, we may be seeing the byproduct of a microbial life in the ocean of this planet or something we may have never seen before. So scientists are being cautious. DMS is a tentative detection. We definitely need more data to confirm if it's really there or if it's just an error in the data or a chemical compound that may have very similar chemical signature. This discovery does not mean we have found aliens, but it does mean that we have found the most Earth-like atmospheric chemistry ever observed on another world. Methane and carbon dioxide in a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, that's already a fascinating cocktail for a potential biology. Now astronomers are planning more observations with James Webb Space Telescope to confirm and explore further. But if this detection holds, and I have my fingers crossed, it could be the first indirect evidence of extraterrestrial biology. We are talking about possible second origin of life, not on Mars, not in our solar system but on a distant star system far beyond. So it's again a sober reminder that we may not be all alone. Even if we don't find the little green men, finding alien microbes or just their chemical whispers would be the greatest scientific achievement in the human history. So keep your eyes on the stars because they might be just looking back. And if you are as fascinated as I am by this potential alien life breakthrough, then make sure to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe for more such videos because this is just the beginning.